Welcome to the beginner's guide to building your money-making website. This is video 6 out of a series of 10 about how to build an internet business from scratch. And in this video, I'll look at the components that make up the heart of any money-making website, and then discuss the additional functionality you should consider, and look at the three options for getting your website built. A website is like a car. What catches the attention is the style, the layout and the design. However, underneath the painted body shell are all the parts that make the car work and get these parts right and working well together and the car will be reliable and a pleasure to use. Choose poor parts that don't work well together and the user will find it hard to use and will be disappointed with the experience. And a website is exactly the same. Your visitors see the layout and the design, but it is what is underneath the design that determines how easy and how enjoyable it is to use. With a car there are a few key components, like the chassis and the engine, the wheels and the dashboard, that must work seamlessly together to make the car work at all. And then there are lots of optional extras, like the electric windows, and the hi-fi, the aircon and the alarm, which improve the user's experience. A website has the core components, which are at the heart of the functionality, and then lots of additional functionality that can be added to meet the needs of individual websites and their audience. And now I'll go through the core functionality that your money-making website must have, and then we'll list some of the optional extras that will significantly improve it. At the heart of every website is the Content Management Solution, or CMS as it's known. This allows the website owner to easily add new content without having any technical skills such as HTML. It allows them to add images and illustrations, add products for sale, to embed video clips and streaming audio, and most importantly to add and edit the navigation. A typical content management solution will be intuitive and simple to use with fields that can be filled with text cut and paste from Microsoft Word or any other word processor. And I can't emphasize enough how important it is that you have complete control over adding, editing and managing your content. If you need someone with technical skills to do this, then your, your site will quickly go out of date and you'll be frustrated by trying to maintain it and a good content management system, of which there are many, will give you 100% control. Next you need to have a way of capturing people's personal details. To do this you need a database. This database can be used for running your email newsletter, payment processing, for storing password and logging details, and monitoring comments on your forum. Typically, a database will allow you to capture all the information entered into an online form. The next key component is payment processing. And you'll need this for e-commerce, subscriptions, and payment for events. And even if you plan on having a site that's just focused on advertising income, I would strongly recommend that you still integrate payment processing so you can easily try out different ways of making money. And the payment processing must be integrated into an order form and should be set up to cope with recurring and repeat billing. So these three components, content management, a database and payment processing form the foundation of your money making website. By having these in place at the outset you will, able to, you will be able to choose exactly how you make money. And as you know from video 3 in this series, there are five ways to make money. Advertising, affiliate marketing, e-commerce, subscription, and promoting offline events. You should ensure you use a technology platform that gives you the flexibility to choose any or all of these monetization options. Each of them need a little bit of extra functionality to make them work. For advertising, Text ads, like Google AdSense, need you to be able to add snippets of code to a page. Most content management solutions enable you to do this. If you want to start selling display ads, 
you'll need an ad serving solution. This will enable you to easily change ads, rotate them, put them up for set periods of time, or, an, or for a certain number of page views. Take a look at the free open source ad serving service called OpenX at openx.com to get a better understanding of how ad serving works. Affiliate marketing requires the same as advertising. The ability to add links to articles or display affiliate ads using an ad serving solution. So adding advertising functionality to your core platform is a pretty simple upgrade. For e-commerce you need to have, have shopping cart functionality which enables your customer to select products and display what they have bought before checking out. If you want to sell a few products you need a simple shopping cart which can be added onto your core platform. If you int intend to sell thousands of products your website should be built around a dedicated shopping cart solution such as Zencart at zencart.com. So e-commerce is the second money-making module you should add to your core functionality and it's fairly simple to do. To allow subscription publishing you need several important pieces of functionality. You need to be able to create payment plans for example giving clients the chance to sign up for a monthly or a quarterly or an annual subscription. You need to be able to take recurring payments for example taking $4.95 on the first day of every month for a period of 12 months. And you need to be able to automatically issue login and password details and automatically monitor them so that when they run out they're, they, they're disabled. The whole login and password solution must be very secure to prevent hackers reaching the premium content without paying. And the promotion and sale of on offline events requires the same functionality. Billing for the event, flexible forms and a login and password. So with a good platform you can easily and quickly add the additional functionality needed to make money. Then it's time to consider what other functionality and features you need to make the site appeal to your audience. Some of the additional functionality you may consider include the email newsletter, a forum, audio and video streaming, a content database, a blog, a member directory, an events calendar, polls and survey capability, or maybe you want to build your own application to plug into your core platform. And finally, all this functionality needs to be brought together under one control panel so it's easy and quick to manage your site. And when you bring it all together, you will have a fully featured website that is a pleasure to look at and a pleasure to use. When it comes to building your site, you essentially have three choices. You can specify exactly what you want and then get a developer to build your bespoke website. This can be the most flexible op option but is also the most expensive and can take a long time to complete. Alternatively, all of the functionality to create a website are available in the market. You or, or a developer can combine existing and com proven components to create a website with all the functionality you need. The advantage of this method is many of the components can be found for free, so it can be cheap. However, it's often difficult to get a lot of different applications to work together especially when it comes to combining content management, payment processing and a database. Also, it's almost impossible to have a single dashboard to control lots of different individual applications. Finally, you can use an all-in-one web service like Subhub at subhub.com. This is designed to enable a non-technical person to get a money-making website up and running quickly, often as quick as a week or two weeks. The advantage of this route is it's quick, and it's simple and ongoing management is very straightforward. So my recommendation after building over a hundred commercial sites is for your first website use an all-in-one web service like Subhub. This will enable you to focus on building your audience and making money rather than on building, tweaking and managing your site. For experienced website owners consider using components such as Joomla or WordPress but plan your website carefully before starting so you're sure it will do everything you want it to do. Alternatively, a good web service should be able to meet the needs of even an advanced user. 
and organisations with specific needs and lots of stakeholders in the project should pay the premium to get a bespoke website built. Organisations tend to find web services and components too inflexible. So in summary, there are three component parts to your core platform. Content management, database and payment processing. Then you need the flexibility to add lots of additional functionality and choose how you're going to have it built. Either have it built bespoke, combine existing components from the market, or use an all-in-one web service like subhub.com. So thank you for watching and listening, and I hope to be talking to you again soon in video 7, which is all about getting your website ready for launch. If you want to be notified when new videos are released and get access to hundreds of free articles, sign up to the uh, free email newsletter at subhub.com.